yeah hi there and welcome back so let us continue with our lesson and uh, what we will do now is we will go and implement uh, firebase presletics and that will help us to see the bug or whenever your application crash then we will have some record or it will send the report to the presletics uh, server which is on a firebase so let's go and implement this one it's really helpful because uh, when you release your application to the play store or whenever you release your application for the production environment you have to collect the crash analytics so you have to collect all of the information that is crashing your application and to fix that issue we need to have certain information so for that we will be using our crash analytics from the firebase so let's go and implement how we can do that one. So first of all, we'll go and create a new project. And if you are not familiar to create a new project, maybe you are doing it first time, then you can just follow with me. And if you already are familiar with it, then you can just skip it. So first of all, let us give a name. I'll just give a name as uh, Udemy. And I'll just Udemy, C-O-U-R-S, Udemy course. And just click on continue. And uh, let me enable all of this. And uh, I can select or create a new one. I'll just create a new one. For that one, I'll just say Udemy C O U R S E course. And just click on save. Just select the location. And by default, it's uh, US or United States. Or you can change it to any other, depending on your current location or any other thing. So I'll just create the project for now and it will take us uh, some time. So I think it will take a few seconds to complete all of this. And uh, for that, let me just go and open my application or Android Studio over here. And we need to implement some of the dependencies over here. So let's go back to the Firebase console and yes, yeah, ready and just click on continue and uh, we are over here and our application or the project is ready and we'll click on the android from here and uh, we will give our we will provide our application name that is what is the application name is over here so application id just copy this one and uh, let me go back to over here and paste it over here and app name you can give the name to do this is optional and uh, you can also provide the debug or the signing the sh1 key sha that's one key and it's optional but it's required for some of the phone verification and all that stuff so if you are using the phone verification like uh, we have option to do a phone verification and all of this, the, the signing stuff. So we have to make use of the, the SSA provide or SSA one that we have to provide over here. Uh, otherwise, we are just using for now. We are just using our Crestletics. Then we can just skip that option. And let us. Okay, so now we have to download the uh, Google Dash uh, service dash session file. Just click on this one to download it and uh, just click on next from here and let me open this one and it's over here so i'll just cut this one from here and uh, let me go to the project section and i'll just right click and so in the explorer and just go inside this app and paste it inside over here okay so don't paste it in the root directory you should go to the app directory and paste it inside that one and uh, the next thing that we have to do is we need to copy all of this stuff just copy this one and go over here and we'll go to the root project gradle build and i have to provide it over here so at the end over here and the next is i need make sure you have a google so I think we already have implemented that one. Yeah, we have a repository from Google. And that's, this means that it can download the dependencies from the Google repository. And then we still have some other. So I need to copy this one 
okay so we already have that one i think we need to copy this one add this line right so com.google.gms.google-service copy that one and now uh, we have to go to the app depend app app label build gradle and i will add it over here and also there is some other stuff that we have to add the we need to implement this one the dependencies just copy this one and uh, let us go back to the application and uh, let us implement it over here and the uh, end somewhere here let me add it over here or let me add it below here and let me call this one as a fire farvest and just copy this whole thing and uh, let us go to the root build that gradle and uh, let me paste it over here that one and let me add it over here which is of equals to sorry equals to and double quote over here and copy this name and go and paste it over here just give a dollar sign and we need a double quote opening and closing double quote over here and now we can synchronize the application and uh, just wait for the synchronization to complete and the next is to just click on next and now we need to check if checking if the application is communicating with our server so we need to communicate back to the server so for that we need to run our application so let me stop the application for now and let me try to run the application and uh, let us open the device and let's wait for the the build that gradle to complete and uh, we can see the application is running and let us go back to the console over here and it will take some time to communicate back to the server sometimes it's really fast sometimes it will take some time so let us wait for this one to complete i think it's taking a bit longer time than as expected so what i will do is i'll just skip for now so you can wait you can check whether you can successfully complete this section or you can also skip it so it doesn't matter so i'll just skip it so if you have a successful implementation of this one that's really great but i will skip for now it's taking a bit longer time so let me skip that section and my application is added over here you can see and which means that now i can go to the crash analytics over here and uh, i need to do the implementation so add the sdk right so just click on this one and uh, let us add the sdk for our application and first it's uh, it's it's says that add the SDK, the build and run your application. So it's waiting for the application to, it's listening over here. It, you, are, you can see over here, we will be listening to your application communication. So what we need to do is we will have to go to the view the docs and let us try to implement that one. We will select the Android from here and the some of the things that we have to implement and uh, I think we already have added this one. So the next is we have to add this one. Just copy this one. Just copy it and go back to the top level pro top level build over here, gradle build, and over here I'll paste it below there. Over here. And just go and select this one. So I need this one too. Just copy this one. And I'll go to the app level build that gradle and we have to add it to the top over here let me add it over here and is there some other thing and I need to implement the dependencies so this is the one so recommended is over here firebase analytics over here and over this one so let me try to add both of these and let me select that one and let me go to the dependency over here and let me paste it over here and this one let me just 
copy okay let me copy all of this and uh, let me go to the top level and just paste it over here let us try to create a variable for it and just remove this and put it under school and now i can copy this one so i i think i have already implemented over here is that true okay i already have that one sorry that's not needed for us and uh, maybe we need just to upgrade 1744 so i'll just upgrade this one 17 for 17 4 and 4 right and this one i can just replace it with this one firebase uh, analytics press analytics over here so let me replace it with the uh, firebase press analytics over here and uh, just copy this one and i need to cut this and paste it over here let me take this uh, variable and paste it over here i need to provide dollar sign and paste it over here and that should be fine just synchronize this one and let us go back to the firebase console and now we need to run our application so let us run our application it will take some time so let me pause the video over here and uh, let us try to run our application so that should implement the firebase and also the crash analytics for us so let us wait for the application to come up and uh, you can see that the application has successfully installed so let us go back to the firebase console over here and i will just go and refresh it okay so you can see that installation has been successful so which means that now we can go to the crash analytics dashboard over here and uh, we should see our application over here so we don't have any crash for now so what i will do is i'll just go over here and you can see that test your press lighting setup so just force the crash i will go to the android and go to the kotlin and you can just copy this code i'll just copy this code and let's go back to the application and we will go and crash it, our application so where should we go for that is let's go to the view and go to the ui and uh, let me go to the i think go to this class so let me try to crash it over here and uh, let me try to crash it over here and that's it so let me try to run our application and that should crash let us wait for the application to come up and uh, we should see the crash over here okay so that the one just got crash and let me try to remove this one and okay let me try to see the error over here so it just crashed over here right so let us go back to the firebase console and now let us try to refresh it and you should see a crash over here so the report should come over over here okay so it still haven't come so it will take some time so sometime maybe one or two minutes and we will refresh it again sometimes it will take around one to two minutes to come up over here so this is we have just implemented it so let us wait for the another one minute okay so we are over here and i it took around two minutes less to wait for me to this crash to show up for the first time so you can see that we have a first crash over here which is a splash activity and it give you a quite quite a lot of detail about what happened over here this just crashed over here and if you go to the text view right you can see what happened over here and you can cast a lot of information about it and key we can pass some of the keys and the logs and also the data and it passed a lot of information about the device and also about the we can pass the custom the key over here key value pair to this particular crash and if we can go to the track trace and you can see the formatted version or the text version and also we can see that what happened to the, this particular over here and you can just go and check that what have it unable to start the activity right so and all of this stuff is mentioned over here 
And this is quite great. And I, I can tell you that through my experience that uh, having something like this is really important whenever you are, your application is on the production build. And we need to have the information why the application on certain devices crashing and on certain devices not crashing. So all of these things we can collect using this. It's really helpful and it's really important. And as Android developer, you should be familiar with all of this. And uh, what we will do now next is uh, we will still have some more things to coming up and we still have a lot of things to learn on it. So on the next lecture, we will go and see about the, some of the configuration that we can build with the Timber. So previously we have some configuration for the release and the debug tree for the our application logging. So what we will do is we'll try to sort it out. So whenever there is on the release version, then we want to send this all of the the crash report to our crash analytics server in the Firebase. But whereas if it is a debug version, then we are just going to log it to the locally or to the logcat. But for the release version, we should send it to the the, the crash analytics server, and that that is the thing that we are going to do on the next. So let's meet up in the next lecture. Till then, have a great day.